love me Oh, I need someone to 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 love me What is up you guys good official afternoon now it's like 12 30. i just got back from all of my classes um i went from eight in the morning till right now um straight so i have an 8 a.m monday wednesday friday i have a 905 and then just on wednesdays we have chapel so i went to chapel at 10 and then i had a class at 11 20 which ended just about now, I just got home from it. That is what my Monday, Wednesday, Fridays look like. And then Tuesdays and Thursdays, I don't have any classes. I don't know if I've said my schedule yet, but that's really nice. So I'm officially back for the day. I'm starving, so now I'm gonna go make lunch. Um, but first day of classes went pretty decent. Um, just, you know, kind of overwhelming with all the amount of work that we have to do. So I have this one marketing class, which is my last class, the one that I just got out of. Um, the professor is like really funny and really nice. So I'm excited for that aspect, but this marketing class is one that every business major has to take. And usually you take it like your freshman or sophomore year, but I'm taking it my junior year just cause I am. Um, but it's, there's like this big project that's basically your like grade for the semester just not like your whole entire grade there are tests too but like it's a big thing that you basically work on the whole entire semester with your group of people which is kind of stressing me out but you know it'll be fine you basically have to like develop a product and sell it and all that fun stuff but we'll get more into that when the time comes for me to get into that but yeah classes went pretty good i have cost accounting and i have accounting information systems which is going to go into like quickbooks and all that stuff which i'm excited for that one um i will say i'm excited for that one um and then i have two online classes philosophy and a business ethics class which the business ethics class is only a seven week class and that one doesn't start until like the second half of the semester so i actually don't have that class right now now i'm gonna make lunch um for dinner last night you can't see me because it's dark for dinner last night, I made um, like a turkey burger and I'm gonna try to set this up. Stay. For dinner last night, I made a turkey burger with some pasta and green beans and I made extra to have for lunch today. So I'm about to get that. So I'm gonna heat this up and it was actually really good. So I'm excited and I'm starving. So if I can open it, that would be great. It's so weird like coming back to an apartment the past two years I've lived in a dorm as you know and it's just different going because like when I lived on campus you have like your mail swipes that you have and like everything you know you don't have really have to worry about anything like food wise you just like go and eat at the cap or like you get Einstein's or Chick-fil-a or something um, which is never the healthiest option at all so it's so nice coming back to like an apartment your own space where you can like unwind make your own healthy food oh, if i can get this open i'm ex so excited to eat this i don't know if you can see kind of doesn't look that good the green beans looked better yesterday but so this is my lunch i just have as i said it's leftovers from last night but i found a new love for green beans the other night before i came back to college my mom was making dinner and she asked me to make green beans and not that like I never ate, that's easier if you can see my face. Not that I never ate them before, but like I would eat them if they were served, but I've just never like, ooh, I want green beans. So my mom asked me to make them the, uh, the other night and I did, so I just made them with salt, pepper, um, and a little bit of olive oil and I let them cook and then I decided to put balsamic vinegar in it. Oh my gosh, it's so good. I. Like you guys have to try this. It's if you love green beans and you're gonna really like this. So you just put the green beans in the pan with olive oil, salt, and pepper, as I said before. Let them cook, and then I add a little bit of garlic, and then let that cook a little bit. And then if they're, it basically depends on how hard or soft you want them. I like mine a little softer, not like super soft, but not super hard. So I put a little bit of water of water in it to let them cook longer and make them just a little softer and then after that I add balsamic vinegar and let that cook in it and just serve it. It's literally so good, tastes amazing. Um, and then I just have my turkey burger and the rest of my pasta. So I'm gonna eat this, probably watch a little YouTube or something and then figure out what I have to do for my classes, so. Oh, 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 love me when I Good morning. 
morning, you guys. It is Thursday, the next day from yesterday, obviously. Um, I am just continuing it into this day because I didn't vlog like a ton yesterday. I kind of just stopped vlogging. I didn't really do a whole lot the rest of the day, so I stopped vlogging. Um, today, I actually have a little bit of agenda. an agenda. I have to do my laundry. I have to call our electric company because, or like our utilities company, because something's wrong with our bill and stuff, so I just have to like get that straightened out. If you can hear the noise, it's the dishwasher going, sorry. So I have to call them, which I hate doing. I just like, I've had to call them so many times because of the stupid deposit that like is just such a struggle right now. It's just, it's just annoying. So I have to call them again. Um, I have to do my homework and just like figure out what I need to do for tomorrow. Um, one thing that is so annoying is that I had to order a book that I already rented. It's not really a book, it's for my one accounting class. It's like a, it's like an aid type of book. So I didn't think that we needed to buy it, just, I don't know, I didn't. So I rented it for like $60. Um, and it came to me and then when I got into class, we actually need to buy it because it comes, the bot, like when you buy it new, it comes with a bunch of like worksheets and different things that you need, which I didn't know, she should have specified that clear so I had to buy it and pay extra money to ship it faster to me so I would have it but for class tomorrow so that's kind of annoying because I didn't need to spend all that money I literally spent so much money for that but it's fine um so I'm gonna try calling my electric company or utility company whatever and get that straightened out and then I'll probably do my laundry and then see what else what happens I don't really know please hold while we exit your information to speak to a customer service specialist Zero. We normally give it at least seven to ten business days to be uh, in here and basically be processed into the system. So have a good rest of your day. Bye, you too. <sighs> Stress. Darling, you. the morning cleaning and my clothes are in the dryer so if you hear that annoying noise that's what it is now I'm hungry so I think for lunch I'm gonna make a smoothie for dinner yesterday I made the same smoothie and it was really good I have these frozen mangoes that I got um, so I'm gonna use those and some ice and then I put half a banana in it and this yogurt where is it uh, I put one of these yogurts in and then almond milk and it was really good so probably gonna make this for lunch and then maybe have a, a little something else with it I don't really know all right so I made my smoothie and then I also just paired it with a couple turkey rolls and then I put a little bit of cheese on the inside um, just to hold me over a little longer than just drinking a smoothie. So I'm gonna eat this and then I might go to TJ Maxx after this. I don't know. We'll see. I'm on my way to TJ Maxx because I want to look for a soap dispensing thing. Um, <laughs> that made no sense. Like just like a soap dispenser for our um, kitchen sink because all we have is our soap bottle and we always have to squeeze it. It's not really the biggest deal at all, but it just be more convenient to have a, an actual like soap dispenser where you'd like dispense the soap from. I don't know how many times I can say soap dispenser. It's really self-explanatory. All right, I just got back. Actually, I didn't find anything at TJ Maxx. Uh, there was literally nothing. And then I decided to go to Walmart, and they didn't have any of the soap dispensers either. But I did end up getting a couple of things food-wise. So I'm gonna try to set this up again like I did last time. Favorite towels. We needed more favorite towels. I got, um, and then the rest is for dinner tonight because I'm going to make spinach rice. I got a box of spinach rice when I first went food shopping, um, so I'm going to make that. And then I bought these Ritz crackers to coat chicken, and I bought a bunch of chicken breasts because I'm just going to make, like, I'm going to bake some chicken for, like, chicken tenders type of thing. And then I bought spinach to put in the spinach rice. Ooh. 